Hey, people of God, people of God, we all know that we fight not against flesh and blood, right? Um, the devil does not attack those that he already has. So if you're going through some warfare and you're going through these attacks and it's tough, it's because every time you're trying to rise up, you're rising up in the Lord, you're growing in the Lord, right? He does not want that. He's trying to take as many with him mentally, spiritually with him as much as possible. As much, he's trying to take as much, many people with him as much as possible, right? We fight not against flesh and blood, meaning there are evil forces and principalities that are working that we do not see. And some of us have the gift to see them, right? Count it all joy through the warfare. This is why we worship through the warfare. Worship through the warfare. We worship God through the warfare. You count it all joy because every time you are rising and elevating and and, and God is showing you favor um, and he's blessing you and you're seeing the hand of God moving, you're seeing the power of God um, upon your life and you see it and you're having encounters with the Lord, you are going to have warfare. Every time an individual or a child of God has decided that he is going to move away from the lies of the enemy, the enemy, the devil does not want that child to walk in freedom, right? does not want that child to elevate in the spirit of God because we go from glory to glory to glory. The more we trust God, the more we walk with the Lord, the more we see the encounters, the more we step out on faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things that we do not see. The evidence of things unseen. Count it all joy. The father is saying to you, and it's in the word when we go through these, these trials and, and um, we're going through the attacks, the mental attacks of the enemy, right? This is why we stay in our secret place and we're constantly, our secret places in our mind. It's in our mind. Our secret places where the enemy cannot get to when we are stand, when we are communing with God, right? Communing with the Lord and on his word and what he said and believing Every word that comes out of the mouth of God. Mm, excuse me. Oh, man. Believing every word that comes out of the mouth of God. You're going through warfare and these attacks. Because you have chosen God. Because you have chosen to. you chosen God's will over your life. Satan does not attack those that he already has. He's not attacking those that not that that's not caring to put in any type of effort to get to know the Lord. The Lord says again, count it all joy. Yes, the attacks have are increasing, and this is why we we sit. We sit before the Lord in our spirits, in our hearts, in our minds, right? We know when we are a child of, we're children of God, we know that we are protected. We know that we are loved. We know that that weapon may form, but it will not prosper. Children of God counted all joy. In this race, on this journey, count it all joy. I think of Jesus carrying the cross down the road on the road of uh, Golgotha, if, if that's the name of it. But he was carrying the cross and he was taking all kinds of hits from different individuals. The, the enemies of God were attacking Jesus, right? He was carrying his cross. We are carrying our cross. We are pushing we are, we are pushing through in the name of Jesus with the weight of the attacks that are coming against us to, to, the, you know, to, to get us to go against God, right? 
We will not come in, into agreement with anything, with anything that goes against God, with anything that Satan says to us as children of God. We do not come in agreement. And sometimes the enemy will try to push you and pressure you to open up your mouth, to set, to come into agreement with something that he wants you to speak out loud over your life. And so we will not come into agreement, right? We only come into agreement with what God has spoken over us and every promise that has been written for us to hold on to and every promise that have been spoken over our lives. That's what we come into agreement with. Child of God. Anything other than that, we, we don't we don't listen to it. This is why we cast down thoughts that are not from God and every wicked imagination that is not from God. Mm. In the name of Jesus, I pray that this touches your heart and your mind and that you will worship the Lord through the warfare. Praise him. Thank him. Don't forget about the blessings. Don't when you start looking around with the, your natural situation and seeing things in the natural, you take your mind off the spirit. You take your mind off what God is doing. You take your mind off of looking to God because that's where your help comes from. Jesus was sleeping in the boat. The disciples saw this, this was, was, was a witness to the storm that was going on around them while Jesus was sleeping. Is it a storm right now in your life? Is it a storm right now? And the enemy is trying to lie to you and to keep you from, to tire you out, right? The enemy is trying to wear out the saints. Is, is, is it a storm right now? When God has you, when God has called you to walk into the destiny and to the promises that he has called you to walk into and to your great assignment to for his glory, is it a storm around you right now? Is it raging around you right now? But what was Jesus doing? And what did he say to that storm? And so you got to believe when he said, peace be still, that your storms are ready. You have to believe that your storms around you, oh, how to make it sit out of it goes. Your storms around you in the name of Jesus, they answer to the command of God. Do not believe what you see going on in a natural and make you forget and let it make you forget what God told you. He said, peace be still. So you got to believe the command of God over your life. And rest in his assurance. Rest in the storms. Be still in the in the storm. You, you are, Jesus was so trusting in the Father that he slept through the storm. The enemy may be coming at you like a flood. He may be coming in to your life and 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 affecting you, and trying to flood your mind and blindside you and make you forget what God has told you. He may come in like a flood, but it is Jesus. It is God that lifts up the standard against the enemy, right? Mm. The joy of the Lord is our strength. The more that we are, the more that we are desiring to do the will of God and desiring not to dishonor God. The enemy is, is coming and lying constantly like a roaring lion, seeking to devour every word that the Lord has spoken to you, every promise that he has given you. But the Lord has given us authority, right? Authority to tread over snakes and scorpions and no harm will come to us, right? That's what the word says. And so when we believe what the word says, anything that comes at us, whatever dart it is, we remember what God said in the authority that he has given us as his children. 
and then we can just stay. He wants us to stay, remain in peace. Exodus 14, 14. It is the Lord that goes before us. All we have to do is be calm, right? And be still. Let God be God. So count it all joy. Mm, count it all joy. And the Lord wants you, he wants his children to celebrate. He wants his children to to remain in joy, to remain steadfast in prayer. And whatever he's, the Holy Spirit is leading you to do at this moment right now, when there is warfare, you pressing your way, right? To do the will of God and what he has called you to do. And you have left behind the life of fornication and every sin that God, that, that, Every form of bondage that was over you, you're leaving it behind. And a lot of you have left it behind, right, for the Lord. So, yes, it's going to be warfare because the enemy wants to keep you. But he can't because Jesus already died on the cross and he's already won. That means we are already victorious. We are victorious in Jesus, in Jesus, but God said what he said. God is not a liar. He is not like man that he should lie. He is not like me. He is not like you. This is why we look to him continuously in our secret place, in our mind, worship and commune with the Lord for he is good. He speaks. I mean, getting to know the Lord is, 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 is a, it's a marriage. And in a marriage, only you and the Lord know in that relationship. No, no, it's only you and the Lord knows your relationship. You know your relationship with the Lord. He knows his relationship with you. He knew who you were going to be before you were born. And a lot of you have had a hard life. I have in my life too. And made wrong choices that I knew I made wrong choices. But because of the grace and the mercy of God, I am here in my right mind and I am so kind of she did on the go shot day, serving him, adoring him, getting to know who he is and who I am in him. And it's a freedom that comes with that. Walking out of bondage into freedom with the Lord. Nobody can't tell you nothing. No lying demon can tell you nothing. Because you, just like a marriage, know, you know your marriage just like being married to a, your spouse. You know your marriage and what makes your spouse happy, what makes them sad. And you don't want to do anything to disappoint them or hurt them. And if you did, because of the love of God, if you did do anything to disappoint him, because of the love of God and we have learned the love of God, we have learned mm, Jesus because of the love of God, we have learned, a lot of us have learned how to bestow forgiveness on our spouse, right? Or, and, 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 and we have learned, right? In the name of Jesus, we have learned because of God's forgiveness and his love for us how to endure, ooh, how to endure any type of rejection, how to endure any lie that's like, any weapon that's trying to be formed against us because of God's love. We have learned how, we, we are learning how to endure. So my encouragement to you is count it all joy. It is a blessing to be married to Christ. It is a blessing because 
if, if we're nothing without him, we can't do anything in a righteous mindset, in a righteous way without the Lord. Count it all joy in the attacks because worship confuses the enemy. So go to worship <laughs> when the enemy is trying to come in like a flood and trust every word that God said that he will never leave you for or forsake you. Isaiah 41, 10 as well. Be not afraid. You have to finish it for me um, or read it for yourself. But Isaiah 41, 10. Um, glory, to, glory to God, man. Glory to God. If he has pulled you out of something and you're in a situation where it doesn't look like it's going to work out or you don't know how it's going to work out. That's where Hebrews 11, 1 comes in, right? That's where Psalms 3, 5 through 7 comes in. 3, 5 through 7. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. and all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. If it's not looking like how you expect, just trust God in that. Stand in that. He will give you the instruction. But he's already taken care of it. That's where we're victorious, right? We're already victorious. God, predestined. That word just hit my mind, predestined. Hallelujah, God bless you guys. You are already predestined to walk into something powerful. You, you will not fall. You will not fail in Jesus' name. You will not fail because our father hasn't he 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 <laughs> he is victorious our father hasn't failed and he he never will he is god he is god god is god and when he is the god of your life and he is fully on your throne i'm telling you become unshakable unmovable the enemy could come in like a flood and lie and have rage and you can feel that spirit of fear and you can feel all of that and you speak what the word of the Lord says and the God's promises and you worship God and you praise God and you thank him for the blessings and how far he has bought you spiritually and physically because a lot of you are seeing the manifestations of your spiritual growth. Mm. Count it all joy. All right. God bless you guys.